Hi, how is everyone today? Lou from RV Habit here. I wanted to get some type of video monitoring for my RV. So, you know, when you're camped out for the night, maybe in a Walmart parking lot, you can see outside your rig, or uh, more importantly, if you're gone from your rig all day and uh, you want to check in on it. So, there's a lot of Wi-Fi cameras out there. The nice one I saw was the Ring 2 stick-up cam. The unfortunate part of that is it's $200 and it requires you to pay a monthly fee to get any type of video storage. So I started looking at video doorbells and again they can go up to two, three, four hundred dollars but I, I just wanted something basic so there's a ton of them on Amazon but there's only a few that actually claim to be waterproof. This was one of them. This was under a hundred dollars. And there's a couple different. This one's ton bucks, but there's a couple different brands. And we're gonna set it up today. And what this will allow me to do, I can put this outside by my door, and this will allow me to get uh, video footage of if anybody's out there. So directions. Two batteries. This one actually came with an interior doorbell, which believe it or not, most Wi-Fi camera doorbells do not. They only ring on your phone and outside. You have, this is usually a secondary thing you have to buy. This will be the doorbell, mounting plate. That's what it looks like. And looks like it comes with a USB charger to charge the batteries. A micro USB card reader. This one actually, this particular one, and this is why I bought this one. This one comes with a 16 gigabyte SD card that you can install in here to store video. And it also comes with free cloud storage for I think up to like 30 video clips, uh, like eight seconds long each video clip. But that was one of the big selling points of this. Everybody else, they want a monthly fee. I have enough monthly fees, so this is what I'm gonna use. And then it looks like it comes with uh, a whole bunch of different mounting hardware. Now this particular unit uses what they call the Any Home app to connect on your phone. So we'll have to download that on our phone. The camera is now ready to begin pairing. Okay. Oop. You know what I didn't do? I didn't put in the SD card. And it looks like it goes in right here. Again, this this was all included in this particular one so it had the SD card the batteries came with it and you you wouldn't believe when I started researching these half of them come without batteries most of them don't have a okay most of them don't have an SD card so this one for under a hundred dollars seemed like a real good deal and it also claims to be waterproof so that'll be the big thing and it does look like there's a gasket here when you attach it to the mounting plate. So I'm going to attach this to the RV, this to the mounting plate, and then get it up. So let me get my phone. Um, okay, so I have my phone here. I have the Any Home app installed on my phone. And I'm going to, this was on the Google Play Store, and it also works for uh, Apple. You can get it on the iOS store. So I have my doorbell. I'm going to install the batteries once again to put it into pairing mode. Put the cover on. And you can hear the doorbell say it's ready for pairing. It's got a blue light. I'll open up the app. Click device list. Set up device. Do I hear device now ready to begin pairing? I did hear the device. I'm going to click yes. My network and I already put my password in. I'm going to click next. The camera is now ready to begin pairing. Pairing in 
information received. Okay, it just said it received the pairing information. It took uh, maybe 30 seconds. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to... Nope, it said it. So, it comes up and it says device. And you can rename that. So, I am going to rename that. And then click finish. Okay, and now it says RV door. And you can go in and accept the call if the doorbell rings. Share your QR code and cloud storage. No videos in cloud storage yet, so let's see if I press that on. And look at that. It connects. It's pretty good. Okay, so on my rig, I have this. Ideally, it would go right here, right at my eye level. But I have this uh, grab handle here. So I mounted it right here. I get a good view. It's got, I think, a 170 degree view. So it, it can get a pretty good pan. And this can still see anybody who's up close. And I just stuck the mounting plate to the rig with some VHB tape. Make sure the area is clean where it's going to uh, hit the gasket. That slides down and they give you a little security screw. It goes up underneath there so somebody can't just walk up and take it out. And that's it. Now I have the PIR on. That's why it's going off. It's seeing me and it's sending alerts to my phone. And actually, let me just show you one more thing on the phone. There's, there's some settings. So let me open my phone up. Okay, so if you open the this up, now you can actually see. Hey, here's the camera. Uh, down below here, you're going to see settings. And then this gives you a whole bunch of options you can choose. SD card or cloud storage, the orientation, the environment, and then PR detection. You could set it disabled, meaning it'll, the camera will only work if someone presses the button. I want it on medium, so if I see someone coming up to the rig, it'll alert my phone that someone's near the RV. Dormancy time, lamp, and a whole list of others. And down the end, down the bottom, you can actually check for an update. And that's it. I did not go into too much depth about the, the software and everything because each one's different. Each one's going to use different software. Uh, but I'll use this for a couple weeks and hopefully I'll report back how well it works. And again, you need Wi Fi for this. Now, if you just want a security camera while you're in the rig, you can put any type of camera here wired to a, either a monitor inside or, or even Bluetooth to your phone. Uh, but my concern was so I can monitor it when I'm not around. Uh, you know, like I said, when I leave the campsite for the day or stuff. But you definitely need Wi-Fi for that, whether you have a hotspot or you're connected to campgrounds, Wi-Fi, one or the other. So uh, under 100 bucks, I'll leave links below in the description. I'll also do a short article on my website, rvhabit.com. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See ya.